Hey, what's up, coders? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have Hero, who's the GDE for Dart and Flutter. Thank you for being on my channel, Hero. Yeah, th thanks for having me. Would you like to talk a bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. So, I'm Hero. I come from Finland, which is why I'm burned and I have a red nose. Uh, and yeah, recently moved to Denmark to work at Reflectly, where I, I have been working for the last eight months or so. Tell me about your journey into Flutter and Dart. Yeah, sure. So, um, I have a native Android background, so I used to do that for five or six years as a hobby. And uh, then professionally for three years or two years. And uh, I guess it was two years ago, or maybe two years ago, or more, when I was uh, at home and I stumbled among a uh, Flutter talk in YouTube and uh, I just thought that this looks cool and decided to try it and just basically fell in love with the framework. Okay. Could you talk about the Reflecty app, uh, challenging features that you had in that app and how did you overcome them? So, um, as you might know, we have like a lot of custom UI there, like our designer is sometimes crazy, so I kind of love him but hate him at the same time because he does these amazing you know, inter interactions and screens, but on, on the other hand, I'm the one that is supposed to implement them. So for example, the statistics screen that we have, it's like we have, a, we have this graph which has, which has like a curved line, which is a shadow, and then we have like huge animations there. And, uh, it's, just, it's just like insane. So uh, I don't know. So, so what's, the, what's the question? How so I... that was the challenging feature that you had, and yeah. how did you overcome it? So I started small. So basically, when I had the layout, start with the simplest thing that you can do, and then go more complex and complex. Until you until you have it together, and it, 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 sometimes you can kind of take, get stuck. But your views on state management. Ah, so you might know that I have uh, this in Kino project, which is Redux, and uh, at the time uh, nobody knew about blocks. Maybe only Google inside insiders knew about it, but back then. There wasn't many options, and Redux was the one that I was most comfortable with. But lately, I would say that blocks are really cool. If you want to do a like clean architecture on Flutter, you can have your all your business logic separate from the Flutter framework. But then again, I wouldn't recommend blocks for beginners. So if you have like your first Flutter app that you're trying to do, I wouldn't say that. You, you need to get stuck on blocks or Redux to finish your first screen. You should just go simple and when it becomes hard to manage, then look into this. And the provider package is pretty good. Thank you. Your thoughts on Flutter for web? I, th I think it's awesome. So we were part of the early access preview for two months or three months, I don't remember. And, uh, I was basically able to get it running. Well, they said in the other talk that in four beers, and that's true. That's uh, I went to the supermarket, bought some drinks. Before finished the, finishing the last one, I was able to run it on web. And I'm talking about Reflectly, with, and we have crazy UI interactions there, and it's, it just works. Um, of course, there's kind of a couple of kinks there, here and there, so we have shadows that mm -hmm. look weird sometimes, but I just expect that they are gonna... Those are just minor details. Great, waiting to see that. Yeah, we are, we are. I'm actually working on an article about it, that, so... Your top three do's and don'ts for Flutter developer. Uh, I wish you asked me this question two years ago when I was starting with it, but because now I don't really have the context for it, but... Yeah, do's and don'ts. Uh, I would say that do start simple and like you can think all, uh, every screen and every layout being a row, a column, a stack or the combination of all those and um, don't go overboard with state management. It's like 
if you have a Hello World app and you're trying to get it run, there's no point of being getting stuck with your Hello World app not running because you're figuring out how blocks work. So take it one concept at a time. Definitely, that's a great tip, uh, Iro. Thanks for coming on my channel. Uh, please do follow him. I'll add all your links in the description. Awesome. So thanks for being on my channel again. Thanks for having me.